this downfall, this downfall that we have, this should not be a surprise. Like this should, this should not be any sort of surprise for us. We've been prepared for this for weeks on weeks on weeks on weeks for this downfall, right? We talked about market structure, how, how critical, how critical market structure is. You know, we definitely, I mean, we've been, I mean, every single person should be ready for this. And again, we, we, we talked about the different levels. We talked about the 410, about the 400, the 398 market structure. What did we say? All we're making right now is what we're making a lower high. And before I even continue, I, I do want to cover a quick uh, chart that we talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apple's definitely made right now. But let me just show you real quick. I'm, I'm going to pull up a couple of different charts here. And it was the same structure on every single chart, especially on the daily time frame. If we go to the daily time frame here, we go here. Let me get my brush. Every single time, lower low, make a lower high, and we come right back down. We talked about this. This should not be a surprise. Everybody should have capitalized off, off puts um, in you know the, the last couple of weeks. And what did we talk about? Every single time that a stock is going to make that lower high, do not be surprised if it just trains, you know, trade sideways all you got to do is just plot the low and plot the high aka plot the resistance and plot the low and then write it back down so now we're making what lower low lower high now we make another lower low do, do not be surprised if the next couple of weeks we go like this and then we come right back down again at the end of the day the the, the market is still in a bearish market we 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 are still have a bearish structure for that reason we should not be up for calls right now got an amd puts last week currently up 108 percent christopher great job uh i think i called out a swing for spy puts um those went up i think those are like 600 percent right now um again it's all about market structure no fancy indicator no 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 secret sauce it's just market structure so i definitely want to emphasize that we're just market structure Understanding lower lows and lower highs, higher highs and higher lows, you can make money. You do not need to add any crazy indicators to your chart. And again, this is five, right? Let's, let's go ahead and put uh, the Amazon, right? We talked about Amazon, how 104 is, is a steal, in my opinion, for Amazon. We talked about the double bottom. By the way, this is a script that I'm currently working on um, that I've been testing for the last couple of weeks that we coded um, that basically goes ahead and it shows you, you know, a double bottom, double top. And this is where we you know we, we were able to find that double bottom when it comes to, um, <laughs> yeah, when it comes to uh, Amazon, it breaks the neckline and then it came right back down, right? The reason why I said that that, that, that 104 to 105 is a steal, why? Again, I'm not, there's nothing secret to this. We just have previous support. So if we have previous support here, meaning that what, that we have demand, well, this would, this could definitely be a good, a potential, a good opportunity to buy and then send the, you know, that stock price back up. Right. So this is really, really helpful. Morel, uh, you're green. Congrats. Everyone that's green. Congrats. And thank you for being disciplined. Thank you for following. At the end of the day, you know, thank you for following because at the end of the day, you know, it, it, it takes a lot to execute. Right. So um, it's, it's definitely lovely to see that people are making money today when it comes to uh, SPY. Right. So, 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 something else that I do want to cover is that, you know, we talked about stagflation. We talked about the economy. The, you know, I mean, the oil economy is not, it's not looking too hot right now. And this is why I've said for quite some time, please make sure to save some money. Um, as we all know, rent is super high. The, 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 the cost of food is, is super high. And this is all because of the fear of inflation. Inflation is at 8.6%. Uh, the, the numbers were, were released last week. That is the reason why last week we saw that the market sort of tumbled on Friday, and then that was a continuation into today. Today, the pre-market low of SPY was 380. For SPX, is 3,800, right? That is critical. And we saw that as soon as it broke to 3,800, that could have been another opportunity to continue. Denzel, great job. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, so, so, something that I definitely want to mention is that do not let your short-term fears derail your long-term plans. Yes, this is definitely expected. We, we talked about the bear markets. The bear markets on average last about 400 days, right? In contrast of a bullish market, they last about 2,000 days. So yes, this may be a time where you feel uncomfortable, where your portfolio is red. I'm letting my portfolio is red. Almost everyone's portfolio is red at, at this moment, right? Um, but that doesn't mean that the long-term plan is still not there. Right. We, we're, we're trying to realize generational wealth. We're trying to, you know, build long-term portfolios that we're able to pass down. We have to be okay with making sure that we still, you know, stick to the plan today, especially when we're in this currently fair market. Um, something else that I do want to mention is when it comes to unemployment claims, the U.S. unemployment claims jumped 27,000 to the, to, to the five-month five of 229,000. Things are not looking pretty out there. Uh, and you're going to see where 
jobs and these different companies, they're going to start to let people go. Uh, because again, they, they, they just can't, first of all, they probably don't even have the budget or because of the market conditions, they can't keep everybody on the team. So here's my recommendation to you. And again, this is outside the, you know, outside the stock market, outside of financials, make sure, make sure that wherever you go at your job, that you're the best at your job. Make sure that you're the type of person, if you have a career, if you have a nine to five, it doesn't matter that if you leave, the whole operation goes down, that you cannot be replaced. So um, Stefano, I'm right there with you. You cannot be replaced. When you are that type of person, that that type of individual, where if you leave, the whole operation is just crushed, that is a type of individuals that we have to be right now just because of the market conditions, right? So we have to secure the different sources of income that we have right now. That's why I tell people, at the end of the day, you have to go to, out of all the times, these these times, this is where you have to go to your job fully motivated, ready to crush it, just because at the end of the day, you, you do not want to get fired um, during these times, right? So unemployment claims definitely went up. Um, I, I'm telling you, people try to bash nine to fives. People try to bash um, having a career. At the end of the day, I'm going to tell you this, you do not have to be an entrepreneur. Not, not, not everyone is set to be an, an entrepreneur. I know folks that have careers and, and they make millions a year, right? So do not let social media get to you. At the end of the day, try to be irreplaceable and really be a, a, be, be, be a value and also be a, a asset to whatever organization or operation you currently pertain to. So that, that will be my two cents when it comes to that. Um, and then something else I do want to mention is that at this moment, at this moment, um, I want every single person to take a look at your portfolio and really hone in on four to five stocks. You do not want to have a whole bunch of stocks when it comes to your environment. Sorry, when it comes to your portfolio, you want to make sure that you have four to five st stocks and you're really laser fo focused when it comes to them. So just, just quick outlook uh, today when it comes to SPY, I'm going to cover both the daily. Actually, I'm going to go to the weekly time frame. I usually go to the daily time frame, but I'm going to show you how do you actually interpret this when it comes to the weekly time frame, right? Can someone tell me right now, are we, are we bearish or are we bullish right now? when it comes to spying, can you give me some sort of synapses of why we're currently bearish or if not bullish? Bearish on a 200, lower, low, lower, high, right? At the end of the day, lower, low, lower, high. And that's what I want you to think about. That should be the first thing. What is the market structure, right? The first thing should be, what is the market structure? And as you can see, lower, low, so sorry, higher, low, higher, high. And then this right here, this right here, at this very moment, this is this was the time in March that everyone said, you know what? We might head into a bear market. There's no secret here. Not one single secret in this. It's just that what? It's just that we formed what? We formed a lower low and we we finally broke down of a higher low. So this higher low, and again, I'm I'm showing you how you're able to do it on any security market, right? This was the higher low that we had. We finally broke it, making what? A lower low, right? So I'm showing you the secret sauce that everybody keep talking about, that is just market structure, all right? Lower, and then from, from there, we created what? Lower high. At this given moment, that's when it should, this is the best indicator that you can have that we're definitely heading lower. And why are we heading lower? Another lower low. Let me show you one more time. And then I told everybody, just because we have four to five days, which is you no know, bullish momentum and everybody going crazy, everybody posting profits on, on, on social media because it's, it's very easy to go for calls, but it requires a shift in mindset to go for puts and short the market, right? We, we made a lower high and now we're trying to make another lower low. The next level that I want every single person to take note of when it comes to SPY is 371. 371 is the next target that we have here for SPY, 371. And again, there's no mystery. There's no secret sauce, none of that. I'm just showing you that I'm just going to the weekly timeframes and I'm looking for these pivots. I'm looking for these wicks where we had a good supply, sorry, a good amount of demand. And we definitely have that here at 371. If we fail 371, again, looking at previous support, the next one will be 360. If we fail 360, the last resort that we have is 350. And I hope we do not get to 350 because, I mean, things will definitely get ugly. But for right now, the, the next target for SPY should be 371, right? So I'm just going to give you again, you know, we talked about the 410, 400. What do we do now? We now adapt. So here are the SPY levels to take a look at. SPY levels, the first one will be 371. Next one will be 361. And number three will be 350. Once we break 350, then that's when, you know, we'll be in definitely in a, in a, I mean, we're already in, in, in a recession, but the headlines will start to say that we're, that we're in a recession and that a market crash is intact, right? But 371, 361, and 350.